All right, I'm about to blow y'all's mind. Many of you know I've been exposing Tractor Supply for over two weeks now. They've shut down their social media. It's locked. You can't reply to the CEO. You can't even see his page. He protected it. The Tractor Supply account won't take comments. This has been for almost three weeks. A major corporation will not take comments, but I'm about to blow your mind even more from all the woke stuff I've already said. So as you can see this week, they have lost over $2 billion in market cap. Okay, that's the value of their company because of this woke garbage. Now, let me tell you something you didn't know about Tractor Supply. Tractor Supply gave a hundred thousand dollars, six figures, to Conexión Americas. Let me tell you a little bit about that organization. Meet Renata Soto. This is the co-founder of Conexión Americas. Right after Trump won, this is the op-ed she wrote. Nashville immigrants prepare for the worst in Trump's America. So if you're thinking already that this group supports illegal immigration, you would be correct. She was also elected chair of the National Council of La Raza. And George Soros gave that group over $2 million. Back to that op-ed, the co-founder of Conexión Americas wrote after Trump was elected that they were working around the clock to stop his agenda and stop deportations from happening. So Tractor Supply customers, how do you feel about the money at Tractor Supply being used to fund groups like this that support illegal immigration? Or maybe Maybe some of those groups that support transitioning kids. Let me know what you think in the comments. I've got a whole lot more news to bring you guys soon, but spread the word. Tractor Supply is woke and they don't deserve your money.